Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to where are we today? I can't remember. Cliff Castle. Oh, Cliff yeah. Castle in Keithley. <laughs> um, right, this is full of memories for me. Behind me there you can see that tree. Conker tree. Oh, yeah, okay. I used to come here and get all the conkers off that every year. I used to come on school trips here. I've just noticed I've got gum in Mazzy. I'll have to set that out after this clip. Yes. <laughs> um, used to come here for school trips, have little picnics in here. Um, play football. Been loads of times. I must have been here about 20 times in my life. And I'm very excited to see if it's changed at all because from the age of zero to 30, it hadn't changed at all. So in the last 15 years, we'll see if there's been any changes. Let's get into Cliff Castle Museum. It's not a castle. It's like a stately home type thing, but it is a museum. So let's get inside. Yeah. It's Chewbacca from Star Wars. Interesting fact about Chewbacca. He lived in Keithley. <laughs> he lived in Keithley. Now it just says on here, look, uh, lived in Keithley as actor Peter Mayhew, now lives in Texas. He doesn't, unfortunately. He now dies in Texas. He just died this last month. I saw it on the news. Bless him. Rest in peace, Peter. Do you want another Keithley fact? Well, one of Keithley's biggest ever babies was born in 1782. Right. And at 20 months old, guess how much it weighed in stones? Stones? Yeah. I don't know. Eight stones. No! Eight stones and he was 20 months old. Good luck! Um, and three feet high, but he died a year later, unfortunately, after being exhibited in London. Wow. Do you want to know some more famous people from <laughs> Keithley? Everybody seems to be from Keithley. They are. It's all famous people come from here. Yeah. You've got Molly Sugden, who was in Are You Being Served? Okay, I'm you know that sure. you know that one where it goes. I'm free. I showed you it. We're like a, a department store. Yeah. Nineteen seventies, eighties. She's from here. The one with the coloured yeah, hair. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Kiki D is from here, and I've been the aunt Claire Rayner. I didn't uh, know that. I have no idea who they are. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Before I forget, there's one more famous person from Keithley. Who? Paul Hudson, the weatherman. How can you not know Paul Hudson, the weatherman? Because I'm younger than you. He does the BBC <laughs> weather. You must have heard of Paul Hudson, the weatherman. I used to play cricket with him. Yes, I did. He was a fantastic cricketer. <laughs> I think he played for Yorkshire under-21s or something. He should have been the best cricketer in Britain, in the world. But he chose to be a weatherman. Yeah, a friend of mine. Played cricket with him. In fact, I sent him an email about two years ago saying, do you remember me? <laughs> There's a Yorkshire Terrier in there. Tiny one. That's my finger. And Mazzy had one of them. Very similar. When, when, when I met Mazzy, she had one of these. Um, she sold it. Got good money for it, actually, didn't you? You did it all right. No, I didn't get anyway, it. Anyway, getting back <gasps> to the Terrier. Um... This one's over a hundred years old, and it won loads of prizes. But they're actually bred with these to catch rats. There you go. What is it? Let's have another one for today. I like doing these. Number seven there, Mazzy, if you want to get some close-ups, give them all a good yeah. look. What do you think that is, guys? And we'll tell you at the end of the video. Well, I'm filming this bit for my mum. Um, I don't think it is where my mum was brought up. This is where slum people lived, look, slums, and it was called the Ginnel, 1890. Now, my mum was born and lived on the Ginnel in Haworth, but I don't think this is the same one. I think this is a Keithley one, not the Haworth one, but my mum will know for sure. Is this where you were born, mum? In the slums? If you come here, Mazzy. Yeah. Look down into the main hall. Yes. Got well, a story about that. Okay. I have actually had some art on uh, exhibition here. Ooh. It's true. <laughs> when I was about seven, it was called <laughs> Health and Safety. Everyone at school had to do a picture. And I did a kitchen. And I remember having an ironing board with an iron on top. And you had to circle where it's dangerous. And the cord of the iron 
Um, I circled that because it's dangerous because you could trip over it. There are about 20 in my pictures, hazards. Oh my god, you're so sweet. And it was right in the centre there for everyone to see. For anyone who knows the old sketch, four candles. Oh yeah, that's. Um... <laughs> I can't remember who it is. <laughs> I'm trying to think myself. Um, but four, uh, the two Ronnies. Two Ronnies. The two yeah. Ronnies. Four candles, four handles. Um, if you're not from England, you not won't know what I'm talking about. But uh, it's one of the funniest clips of all time in British his comedy history. Can anyone from my Deep Digger Dan channel remember me going there? It's where there's hundreds of these on the beach, just life-size like metal men. Not far from Liverpool. We've been there as well. Kelpies. Me and you. Oh, have you already seen it? Yeah. <laughs> the Kelpies. That was on this channel. We've been there as well. Oh, yeah. The Seated Man. Yeah. Can you see them there? Yeah. They're bees. They're older than me. Older than you? Older wow. than me. That's That's, well I recognise that bee. <laughs> He's been there since before I was uh, born. You can, can you hear them? Yeah. What are they doing down there? Well, that's the way out, you see. They can go out and get the pollen. Oh, I see. So they can come and go as they please? Of course they can. They're not prisoners. <laughs> that's really good. And they come back and they make the honey. I was confused by this. I'm going to be honest. That's all the different types. Yeah, I didn't know there was different types. <laughs> Neither did I. <laughs> Didn't you? <laughs> I thought I was being silly. No. <laughs> That's a dressing case for girls. It's beautiful. It's from 1840. It's got things to do with your nails and your hair and things like that and perfume and it's all silver gilded and silver or stuff. It's just for girls. It's funny how you act like you're not interested but you seem to know your staff, don't you? <laughs> it's funny because we were going to go to Craven Museum and they had one of these in there but it was shut down for renovations. I reckon that's going to be the same one. I bet they've loaned it to Cliff Castle. It's uh, a rhino's skull. It's huge, absolutely huge. I have never heard of one of these, but I think it's fantastic. A puzzle jug. Seven minutes. Now, apparently it is a proper puzzle jug. You'd put beer in it or whatever, and what you had to do is drink from one of the spouts. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six spouts. Yeah. The secret was to drink it without spilling it because it's got lines up, you know, it's got holes all the way up. Yeah. So what you'd have to do is suck through one of the things and put your fingers over certain other ones to get it right. And they used to play oh, at harvest festivals and galas and things. I've never heard of them. That That's sounds from... so much fun. It does. From 1874, that one. Love it. There's an urn here which had a cremated body inside it, about three, four thousand years old. Found in Stanbury, not far from here, where my family's from, pretty much. And they got all these bones out of there. As I say, it was cremated. And inside it had this little cup. It had a cup in there, it had a bronze, bronze age axe head. A few little trinkety bits. I only found this in 2007. We've got a hoard, Mazzy. I know, it's beautiful, isn't it? 27 British Iron Age gold coins known as staters. Look at them. Found in Silsden, which is, I don't know, three miles away from here. 
Beautiful. They've all got different designs on as well. Found in 1998. If you want to read about it, fill your boots. What is it? I'm not sure yet. You'll have to come back to me in a second. Okay. It is what it looks like. It's a cradle. Okay? Okay. But it's for women. Oh. Now, Henry Tapp had this made. He was the landlord of the Royal Oak pub. And he had this made. And he had a club called the Hen Pecked Husbands Club. <laughs> and any any of the men in the in the club whose wives nagged, basically, <laughs> had to bring the nagging wife to the club meeting where she'd be put in the cradle. Yeah. And all, all the men would rock her until she calmed down and stopped nagging. Oh my goodness. And that's what it is. And they actually took this onto Antiques Roadshow a few really? years back. In 2010, it shows yeah. the presenter of Antiques Roadshow, she, she couldn't resist going inside it. Yeah. And she had a go and she says, it's against all my principles, but it's quite comfy. <laughs> and she never nagged again. So the what is it of the day, you might remember, we showed you a picture of it. Um, I can tell you now, it is a prayer wheel. Unfortunately, I still don't know what a prayer wheel is, but <laughs> yeah. that's what it is. Yeah.